So what is the most efficient way to improve your audio in Audacity? You may have some set of effects you apply to improve your audio. You can keep those effects in one place and improve your recordings in a single click. I am talking about Audacity Macro. I will show you how to build an Audacity Macro and use it in any of your recordings to save time. Go to Tools, Macro Manager. You have to create a new macro, click on New, and give the macro a name. I will give Efficient Macro YouTube. You have to add the effects you want to include in this macro. You can stack effects one after another, and it will be applied to your audio in that order. I will add some effects in the macro to show you how it works. However, if you want some ready-made macro that can make your sound better and adds professional EQ, you can get my macro pack. It is easy to install and requires just a click to improve any piece of recording. I will give the link to the description, back to the macro creation process. The first effect I will apply is Filter Curve EQ. Filter Curve EQ is added, and double-click on it to configure. I will add a low roll-off for speech preset. For voice, a low roll-off for speech is recommended. The default preset starts rolling off from 100 Hz, I will start the roll-off from 80 Hz. I assume you are familiar with the process so not getting into details. Click apply once you got the desired configuration. The next effect I want to add is loudness normalization. Click on insert and find the effect. I want loudness normalization after EQ, so move it down. You can reorder effects anytime. I will configure the loudness normalization to minus 19 dB RMS. It is a standard value for loudness normalization, so I am following it. The last effect I want to add is normalize, so I will click insert and find the effect. Normalize effect is added, and I will configure it. I will add the peak value to minus 3 for normalize. It is set as minus 3, so I will apply it. You can double click and check if all the effects have a proper configuration. After all the effects are added and configured, save the macro. Remember to save the macro, otherwise it will not work. I can now apply this macro to any audio recording in Audacity. For example, I want to apply the macro in this recording. Select the track by double-clicking and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, choose the macro you want to apply. You can get all these amazing macros if you get my macro pack. I will apply the macro I just developed. The effects are applied with a single click. If I play and compare it with the original audio, you will see how much difference it made with a single click. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It will work with any audio recording in my Audacity. If I export this macro and share it with others, it will work for them too. It is another recording, and I will show the macro will also work here. In the previous section, we learned how to use Audacity to clean your audio. Audacity is a fantastic... In the previous section, we learned how to use Audacity to clean your audio. Audacity is a fantastic free option, but getting good quality audio from Audacity. You can add your necessary effects in macro and save quite a bit of time in audio editing. It will also free you from the burden of remembering which effects you have applied so far. You also do not have to configure each effect manually. All will be done in a single click once you made the macro. You can get some excellent macros from me that 23 people are already using. I will share the link with you in the description. You will get all the necessary instructions on how to use these macros and a demo of how it sounds. If you have any questions regarding this, you can either comment or send me an email.